Making 5G affordable and bringing it to mid-range phones is the goal of a lot of Android brands right now. So with that said, here are the top five upcoming 5G phones. Oppo are committed to bringing 5G to their mid-range lineup, and the first of those phones may be the recently rumored Oppo Reno 3. Oppo have gone all out with the Reno brand this year with the Reno, the Reno Z, the Reno 10 times Zoom Edition, the Reno 2, the Reno 2Z, and the Reno Ace. But they're not finished there. The Reno 3 looks to be coming. This is likely to feature a new Snapdragon 5G integrated chipset, possibly the Snapdragon 735. Snapdragon are also looking to introduce 5G chipsets in the 600 range too, but it looks like the 735 is going to be one of the first to make its way to phones. Other specs of the Reno 3 are limited at the moment, but expect a 20 by nine aspect ratio OLED display and a quad camera setup on the back. Of course, being 5G, it will push the price up, but Oppo have said that they want to charge around about $400 for their mid-range 5G phones in 2020. As Realme used the Oppo production lines and supply chain, we'll be getting a very similar device under the Realme brand, possibly called the Realme X3. This is likely to have very similar specs to the Oppo Reno 3, but for now, we don't know too much information about that phone. We do know a lot of information, however, about two upcoming phones from Huawei, the Nova 6 and the V30 under the Honor brand. Although these two phones will be released separately, they share more in common than they have different. Both will feature upgraded designs with dual hole punch cutouts. We've already seen render leaks and also real device leaks of either one of these phones. Thanks to registry information, we know that the phones will also carry 40 watt wired charging. Both of the phones are also rumored to carry a brand new image sensor from Sony called the Sony IMX686. More information has come to light regarding Redmi's plans for a 5G smartphone called the Redmi K30. Now it looks like Redmi will actually release the Redmi K30 earlier than expected. That's the Redmi K30, but not the Redmi K30 Pro. It now looks very likely that the Redmi K30 will indeed feature a MediaTek 5G chipset. But it looks like Redmi want to get a product to market with 5G to compete with the other 5G offerings that are soon to hit the market. Apparently the MediaTek 5G chipset is a little bit cheaper than the mid-range 5G chipsets from Snapdragon. So I would hope to see a competitive price for the Redmi K30 and the Redmi K30 Pro. Nothing is known about that yet. So I assume that will be coming next year, possibly, hopefully, with a flagship Snapdragon chipset in there. I can completely understand why Redmi are doing this. They need to get a 5G phone out soon to compete with the green, yellow, and blue factories as they're known in China. The Vivo X30 will be coming very soon in December and will feature a chipset from Samsung, the Exynos 980. Vivo have already announced this will be coming and it looks to feature a 5G integrated chipset in the 980, which is definitely a unique and novel way to go. But considering that Exynos chipset is ready to go, it makes sense for Vivo to be one of the first to bring that 5G chipset into mid-range phones. That's also tipped to come with a bezel-less display and a new design. And that launch will go head-to-head -head with the Huawei and Honor phones as they will all be released at around about the same time. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and follow my Twitter for some more information. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.